Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It feels really good to say that. It's been a while, but I am back. I wanted to talk about these, this playlist that I made in February 2022. So what is that? That's like eight months ago. And guess what guys? This method works. I actually have started to make sales of these designs that you can see right now on the screen and I'm going to show you proof of that. I'm going to show you again how I found the keywords and I'll probably show you how I made the keywords again. Also, I would recommend going to watch this playlist because there may be some information in that playlist that I miss out in this video. But I want to go back to this method and I want to talk about kind of why it works and why I knew it would work etc 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 so first of all let's show it in action so if I go on my dashboard you can see if I go on my activity feed that the two last sales one of them is keep calm and hit uh, that word that I'm not gonna actually read out which was uh, one of the kind of keywords I found and this was another one of the keywords I found here which is someone's favoriting and then live, laugh, fart, which you can see it happens to not actually be one of these designs, but it was one of the ones that I uploaded at the time of uploading all of these designs that you can see here. I just saw it there. There it is. So I want to talk about this method again, because at the time of these videos, I had a lot of people that were saying that it's not going to work because it's uh, spammy, basically, and Redbubble doesn't really like spam or well, Google doesn't really like spam but my whole point in this video okay in the videos that I made before and also in this particular video that now is that what we're doing is we're creating pages if I go on live laugh fart and search for that on Google and then do control F and do Redbubble first of all is my image is my uh, product in images it doesn't look like it is which is a shame uh, doesn't seem to be any of these so I'm actually gonna do something real quick I'm gonna see where the sale actually came from so just give me a moment so if you don't know how to do this I may as well just quickly show you guys how to do this this is the Google Analytics for stream surfer at least it should be uh, Redbubble stream surfer it looks like it is yeah so for some reason the traffic has died, which is a little bit weird, but that's no problem. Let me just see when the sale was. The sale was 17 days ago, which is eight. I'm just gonna do a Google. <laughs> what day was it 17 days ago? It was Wednesday, it was 21st of September. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on pages report here. This is quite a useful trick, I think, for a lot of people. So uh, I am gonna just quickly show you how to find out where your sale came from, basically. So once this loads, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on the, I think it was the 21st, Wednesday, yes. And one of these will say success in, there it is. Um, let's click on here. And actually what I'm gonna do is instead, I'm gonna click on there. I'm going to click on here. Actually, I'm just going to do it here. So, um, source. What you want to do is click on secondary dimension, click on source. Okay, it's not going to give me any information here, guys. It just says direct slash non, which is just not useful at all. Um, so, it's really, really hard to find out where that actually, where that sale came from. But basically, my logic was always to make as many pages on Google as possible. So let's try and use the other one as an example. So keep calm and what was it? I, I don't know where I got this keyword from. I literally have no idea where I got this keyword from. Well, I know where I got it from, but um, I don't know what it is. This is not my design. This is probably one of my viewers. Um, which sucks because this could have been me, but because I made this um, public, this person is probably making an absolute crap ton of sales from this, and it could have been me if I hadn't made the uh, 
the method public and also the keywords public. But that's just, you know, that's the way it goes, guys. I'm giving you all of this information completely for free and showing you how to do it. And I'm losing the edge for myself while I'm doing it, but you know, whatever. I'm fine with that. I just want to quickly check how many searches this has a month because I'm going to be really upset if it has loads. Please don't have loads. Uh, okay. Most likely they're making sales from this. So Glowy Design, I believe you're one of my viewers. Let's see if you have any of my other designs on here. Could be a coincidence. I'm awesome like my cat. That was another one of my uh, designs. <laughs> It's gone best selling, of course. Oh, so let's talk about how I actually found these keywords in the first place, because most of you are probably wondering how I did that at this point. So everyone knows keep calm and carry on. It's a very, very common um, phrase. Uh, it comes from, I believe, the Second or First World War in Britain and this phrase is what I, what I call a variation phrase. So what I mean by that is if I delete keep calm and, okay, we can see, for example, this is a really good one. Keep calm and sono inferior, which is um, Italian, actually. It's not uh, English, it's Italian. So it's basically like, it's a meme template, I guess, is another way of looking at it. But what we can actually do is we can use something called Keyword Tool, which is an absolutely incredible tool. And there are other tools as well. These are all completely free, okay? Uh, so let's do, I'll show you all of them, okay? Or all the ones that I use. So all you do is you type in keep, calm, and, and then you hit search here, okay? And this is actually pretty genius if you think about it. And then what you do is you just click here, or you can click here and uh, extract all of them, okay? So you can copy them just like that. And then you can go on Sheets, so Google Sheets, um, go to Sheets. And you can literally just press open a new blank sheet and then you can copy it like that. And then you now have over 600 keywords, which you can very, very easily on Canva. You can do this for free without Canva Pro, okay? And the way that you do this for free without Canva Pro, I'm gonna show you right now how to do that. I have Canva Pro, okay? Um, just because I find it to be a really, really good tool that has a lot of value for me. I always use 4,500 by 5,400 and then all you do, there's probably a way to do this more quickly and there's probably a way to automate this, but I um, do not know how to automate this. Uh, if anyone knows how to automate this part of the process, then you're going to, yeah, you're going to be able to do this even more easily than what I'm showing you here, but I cannot automate, so I'm not going to be. And I showed you this in that video, but I'm just gonna show you again. So all you do is you copy one that you like, or just copy one. Oh, okay, that's literally not even one of them. <laughs> Keep calm and let's go up a little bit. Keep calm and be a princess, whatever. So yeah, first of all, you need to set the base one. So uh, keep calm and carry on. Let's pretend that's a really, really beautiful design. I'm not going to go into designing on, on this particular video. Let's just pretend this is a an amazing design. Okay. So all you do is, so keep calm and be a princess. Okay. So you press add a page here. Sorry, I'm actually going to go back. You press duplicate page here. And then you just write be a princess. Okay. Just like that. That's two designs already. And then we're going to hit duplicate page again. We're going to go back here. You can do this. You can really, really get used to doing this as well. Let's see if the, the keyword from before. Yeah, it is. It is. But it's really far down. Okay. And it's made a sale for me. So just remember that. Don't just think the ones at the top are worth doing and the ones towards the bottom are not worth doing. Um, they're all worth doing. Okay. They are all worth doing. I'll repeat that. They're all worth doing. 
you do not know what people are going to be searching for. And a good way to check what people are going to be searching for is using this tool here. I have talked about Google AdWord Planner many, many times in my videos. But if you don't know how to set it up, I'll leave a video in the description which shows you how to set it up for free. Be calm and be kind. So a keyword like this, it doesn't even show up on here, which is very, very interesting. So yeah, it's that simple, guys. And then right at the very end, let me show you how to do it for free. Okay, so you might be thinking you can't do this for free because you can't use transparent background. Okay, but there's a way around that. And the way around that is using white text with a black background, which is actually more popular on Redbubble. Okay, so again, this isn't perfect because some of Redbubble's products are um, slightly off white, uh, off black. So it doesn't it doesn't quite work for every single product on Redbubble. But this is a this is an amazing way to do everything you need to start making sales on uh, Redbubble completely for free. Okay, so. Start making designs completely for free using Canva free and this process. This tool is free. Also, Ahrefs keyword generator tool is free. This part of Ahrefs is free. So keep calm and it's exactly the same process. Find keywords. I'm not a robot. And then, yeah, it's the same thing. You can actually see how many people are searching the keyword every month as well, which is really, really nice. You can just go through this, you can find ones that you like, or you can just use all of them. Make these designs very, very quickly. And like I said at the beginning, also, if this guy hadn't um, used my keyword, I probably would have made a lot more sales. But yeah, it's, it's that person's shop that is actually ranking on Google instead of my shop, which sucks. But yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's the way it goes. So yeah, as I showed at the beginning of the video, I am making sales. I said at the time that this would work and even though people have used my keywords and I have a lot of viewers who use my keywords, I am still making sales from this method. So imagine if you use the same logic in your own stores, okay? Let me just show you before we go a few ways to find variation keywords. So I actually love to use search operators for this. So site red bubble dot com in title um, and fishing okay so what this normally does is this should hopefully bring up let me just do another thing so in text uh, one to 1500 results this should narrow it down a little bit No, that doesn't work. Hunting high and low, catfish in the button. No, this isn't really. Okay, so look, for example, this is a really, really good way to do it. You can open, uh, I, I did site redbubble.com site redbubble in title and fishing. And then you can see this design here. There's nothing like beer and fishing. There's nothing beer and fishing can't fix. Okay. So let's try and do that here let's do it here actually there's nothing that can't fix all you do is you write the keyword without the kind of variations okay let's have a look there's ain't nothing that love can't fix no there ain't that's there's nothing broken that can't be fixed no okay you can see the logic that just that particular one hasn't worked maybe because it's a bit too long we could also just write that directly into this tool. So fishing and I speak three languages. Sarcasm, perfect. This is gonna be a perfect one. So I speak three languages, sarcasm. And then there'll just be an endless list of other things here. Or not. <laughs> I speak three languages, sarcasm, Arabic, Sarcasm authentic, antonym, irony. I don't know. This could be fine, to be honest with you. It's kind of hard to show you guys how to find these kind of keywords. This is just something that I've got really good at. You just need to do your own research and look through these kind of designs like this. 
let's see what we can find on this page. Gun fishing, be back for hunting, no. Let's try a different combination, um, beer and beer and country music. Okay, so let's do that. I love beer. I love beer and anything where you can automatically assume that. Um, like you can automatically fill in the vari variables works guys so if you can think of your own ways as well I'm trying to show you how to do it but yeah it's not working that well oh so it was actually much more simple than I thought it might be so all you do is google some of my famous short sayings and find something like this fortune favors the and then just search for that with this tool I think therefore I and then search for the tool I think that This was one that came up before, I actually remember it. Let's see how many there actually are for us to sink our teeth into. Let's go down a little bit. I think therefore I cycle, perfect. That's literally perfect, honestly. It's perfect, niche related. Let's see how many searches a month, probably none. Oh, up to 100, so yeah. Let's have a look at this. I'll leave this in the description. Hmm. So yeah, another one that I just saw, when life gives you lemons, make. Now we loads of memes with this as well. <laughs> yeah, when life gives you lemons, make orange juice peach pie, you know, you, you make a sacrifice, you get the idea guys. I wanted to talk about this method again because I think it got lost in all of my other methods and a lot of people didn't think it would work. I'm here to tell you it does work, it does make sales, but importantly, it takes up to eight months for you to make sales from designs because of how organic SEO works. The final thing I wanna mention is that I do have a very high markup on stickers. I could probably put it even higher, to be honest with you. I'm gonna do that right now. I wanna put 130, I just don't, I don't really care, honestly. It doesn't really put the price of the sticker up that much, I think, so three euros, that yeah. Puts it up by one euro, but it will um, make me a bit more money per sticker sale. So yeah, that's it, guys. I'm still making sales on Redbubble. I'm, not really uploading but i am thinking about uploading some more of these kind of designs that i've just shown you in this video just because they're really really easy to make and yeah get some in get some kind of inspiration from the internet and then use one of these tools they're both free ahrefs looks like they've just upgraded this tool as well and then make some very very easy designs which will be searched for on Google. I've shown you in this video that they're searched for on Google. I've shown you, yeah, look at that. Holy crap. Wait. Does this, how many results does this have? Oh, okay. But none of them, oh, okay. Yo, <laughs> no, now everyone's gonna see that this is a very good keyword. Anyway, I'm probably not gonna upload this anyway, guys, so I'm very, very happy to give this to people who will spend the time and upload this because it has zero results on Redbubble and up to 1,000 searches a month on Google. I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. This is absolute gold. Please get on it. Please believe me, it does work. I've made sales. It's really, really simple to make the designs. You can make hundreds of designs from one keyword and just spam them out like this. It's not keyword spamming because you're not actually doing any any kind of keyword spamming. Definitely watch the video, the playlist that I made about this, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with some more content and peace out.